Alibi versus Kangle. Who is the king of the big dogs? When it comes to large, powerful guard dogs, two breeds that often come to mind are the Central Asian Shepherd and the Turkish Kangle. Both originating from different regions, the Alibi from Central Asia and the Kangle from Turkey share many similarities in terms of their physical characteristics and role as protectors of livestock and families. The Central Asian Shepherd is a confident, balanced, quiet and proud dog. They are extremely brave with a high work capacity, endurance and a natural instinct for territory. This breed is well known for its fearlessness in the face of large predators. The Kangal is a powerful guard dog. Its country of origin is Turkey. The Kangal is a very old breed of dog that has guarded sheep flocks in Turkey's mountainous regions for many generations. The guarding and protective instinct of the animals is deeply rooted in their genes. Before I start the video, I want to tell you that I do not support and don't agree with the real fight between dogs. This video represents a hypothetical struggle to find out which dog breed is stronger. Size and Description Alibi weigh between 88 and 110 pounds, 40 to 50 kilograms when fully grown. It is not uncommon for a grown male to weigh more than 175 pounds, 80 kilograms. From paw to shoulder, they stand 24 to 28 inches tall, 60 to 71 centimeters. Males are significantly larger than females, weighing more and standing taller. Central Asian shepherds have large rectangular heads that are proportionate to their large bodies. Their medium-sized, thick, oval-shaped ears naturally hang down the sides of their heads. When Central Asian Shepherd dogs are puppies, their ears are typically cropped and their tails are docked. In fact, an uncropped Central Asian Shepherd is extremely rare. Both practices, however, are controversial. They have fluffy coats made of coarse, straight hair in almost every color and combination except blue, brown, and liver. The Central Asian Shepherd's big, soulful eyes are oval-shaped and moderately deep-set. These dogs are frequently described as having a confident, dignified appearance. The Kangal is a large breed of dog. When fully grown, males reach a height at the withers of about 28 to 30 inches 72 to 78 centimeters. Weight-wise, males between 105 and 145 pounds, 48 and 65 kilograms. Despite its massive size and intimidating appearance, the Kangal is muscular, agile, and surprisingly persistent. He has thick fur and an undercoat. The dogs are solid colored with most specimens being light brown to light gray, according to the official breed standard. The Kangal's mask markings on the head are distinctive. The original Turkish name is Karabas, which refers to the black markings on the muzzle and ears. The tail curled over the back is another distinguishing feature of this breed. The eyes are almond-shaped and dark. The History of Breeds the Central Asian Shepherd Dog is possibly the oldest breed still in existence, with ancestors dating back over 5,000 years. They have a strong bond with the Tibetan Mastiff. They are a strong, healthy and resilient breed as a result of natural selection. The Central Asian Shepherd Dog is a working dog by nature and has held jobs such as herding dog, guard dog, watchdog, livestock keeper, and more. They are loyal and devoted to their families, despite their strong independence. These dogs are active outside, but quiet and calm inside, despite being highly alert and protective of loved ones. The Central Asian Shepherd Dog 
has survived in the wild despite harsh weather and predators. Humans recognized their worth and adopted them, putting them to work. They are not a high-energy breed, but they have a high endurance and work capacity. Though there is some debate regarding the details of this breed's origins, the Kangal dog is known to come from Turkey, where it was used as an ancient flock-guarding breed. The Kangal is thought to be a descendant of various mastiff-type dogs depicted in ancient Assyrian art. This breed gets its name from the Kangal district of Sivis province in Turkey, which is also where it is most likely to have originated. The Kangal has long been associated with the Aga of Kangal, a large family of landholders and chieftains who use the dogs to protect flocks from large predators such as bears, jackals and wolves. The history of this breed as protectors is legendary. The Kangal dog first appeared in European literature in the late 1900s. David and Judith Nelson brought their Kangal to the United States in 1985, where it, along with other imports, became the foundation stock for the Kangal dog in the United States. Temperament and Personality The Central Asian Shepherd Dog is a fearless canine known for its independence and self-assurance. These large dogs are very loyal and friendly to family members, but not so much to strangers. Despite their enormous size, the elegant canine giants are quite friendly and gentle with the people they are comfortable with and live with. Furthermore, these massive canines are extremely intelligent. The alibi, unlike many other large canines, does not mind being alone. They are truly dedicated work dogs who can accomplish a great deal. These dogs are frequently encountered on ranches or farms with livestock. Turkish shepherds ensured their dogs did not display aggression towards humans or sheep, for example, stock or cattle. Kangal dogs are known for their predictable and highly reliable temperament. As a result, despite their size, they are gentle dogs who are calm and peaceful with children and family pets, while being protective of sheep and cattle. If your dog does not have a herd or flock to protect, don't be surprised if they guard your family pets or children. They will demonstrate independence when they are two years old, which is when guardianship is typically initiated. She will be bold and fearlessly loyal to their owner, being very trustworthy with known humans or animals. Because of their origins, Turkish Kangal dogs require work to avoid boredom and unpleasant behaviors. Kangal dogs are not typically recommended for new dog owners or small family homes because they are working dogs. Now let's get back to our big question. Who would win? An alibi or a Kangal? Both breeds are very energetic compared to similarly sized breeds, but on average compared to smaller breeds. However, both breeds are very powerful dogs that should not be messed with. The alibi is a lot stronger. Even if the Kangal can be taller than a Central Asian Shepherd, in terms of the weight of the two dog breeds, it is clear that the alibi will be heavier. Kangals bark before engaging in combat. If there is a threat nearby, alibi will not bark, show aggression, and will strike without warning. The alibi is more stubborn, but can still be trained as well as the Kangal. Both breeds have a very strong bite force, though the Kangal is even stronger than the Alibis. A Kangal is said to have a devastating bite force of 743 PSI. The Alibi, on the other hand, have a bite force of around 500 and 650 PSI. However, in terms of intimidation, in my opinion, an Alibi looks to be more intimidating than the Kangal. In both the dogs, you won't see much difference in their temperament, both being guardian dogs. When a predator approaches, these dogs are fearless and are not known to back down. They are territorial and will protect their lands from critters and predators. Both are massive, heavy, 
and intimidating dogs. Even though the Kangal has a stronger bite force, the strongest among canids, an alibi has a chance to defeat it due to its size and aggressiveness. What is your opinion? That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. Until next time, farewell.